go. Okay, are we ready? Rally. We're rallying, <laughs> we're ready. I'm super pumped. My name is Chloe. I'm Kristen. And we are, that? we are gonna train you Can guys. We make this big? Do you hate me if I do that? Can it go bigger? The whole screen? Gosh, Justin does that. I hate when it does that. So big. I'm, oh I get distracted. So yeah, easy. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is like, I feel like I need to go backwards now. <laughs> so we're going to talk about how you guys can earn the next incentive. Um. So as y'all know, we have incentives that are trip incentives that are different than the summer ones. Yeah. Um, that run from August 1st, normally August 1st through January 31st. Um, and like I said, before we started the recording, um, I've earned a ton of incentives. Kristen has as well. I earned every single one for about eight years. Yeah. Sure. And so it's yeah. super important that y'all know that like everything we're going to share with you guys tonight, like we've done this a lot of different ways. Yeah. And one way that you don't want to earn an incentive is in panic mode. And to, and just speaking honest about this, like this last incentive, I was like in that panic mode at the end of January. And I haven't even talked to my husband about this, but like, I don't want to feel like that. No. And, um, it was because I didn't focus on heavy recruiting, which is always going to help you earn incentives. We know hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. And I would let it, let it go. I wouldn't. And y'all need to hear this because there's so many of y'all that are like, dropping off orders that are um, having these excellent clubbers and customers. And we're just not sharing the opportunity anymore. We're not excited about it. And y'all can say all day long that you are, but if you are doing those things, then your recruiting should grow substantially. Yeah. If you're not doing those things, it's a couple of problems. The first one is probably that you need to expand your network. But the second one is that we're just not sharing. And so I know for me, like, the last day of January, and we can talk about this first because you almost earned level two hundred points away because of a non-certified, right? Yes, and I was two hundred points from Hawaii. I was two hundred points from Africa. Yeah. Oh, day. yeah. So I, what she's about to talk about right now is very. I get that more than anything because, like she said, I've been in panic mode so many times. And because I was in panic mode, I didn't earn. Mm -hmm. And if I had done this sooner, I would have earned. Because being 200 points away from a top 100 trip or something like that is crazy. It's and then you're just like, what? Well, and then it can make what? you feel like, and why, you, why yeah. even try? Or yeah. why even like, you know, so, and those are all feelings that we have felt before. Yeah. And so that's why I'm super pumped about this training, because hopefully it'll get you in the mindset to understand that you're not going to win on accident. And that's the first bullet that we actually have is like incentives are never going to accidentally happen. They're not going to happen just because you love the product. They're not going to happen because you have a VIP page. Sorry. It's not, that's not, you're not going to earn an incentive because you have a VIP page. No. You're not going to earn an incentive because you buy all the LTOs every Monday. You're, and I'm saying this because I feel like there's so many distractions now yeah. that we're missing like how to build a business and we're missing, it's like the small things that you do every day. And it's the action yeah. of literally writing down a dream team list every week. Because how many of you guys, let's go in the chat before we start. How many of you guys update your dream team list every week with new people and don't lie? Every week. Mm -hmm. I know, I don't. I don't know. Uh -uh. I need to. I just did not too long ago, but that's because me and you sat down and, yeah. and made a list of a bunch and, of people. And I recruited but somebody before, out of that. Yeah. I recruited exactly. somebody. Exactly. But before that, no. I mean, yeah. that's not something that, but I used to. Right. Because we but were I to. excited because yes. we had a plan with a reason, yes. which you're about to get into. And so when we start thinking about why am I on these trainings, right? Like, why do y'all come on these trainings? Why do you guys show up to SFR? Why are wh like, why are we putting our time and effort into this? Yeah. Like, there's going to be a reason. And you're doing all these yeah. things if you're learning, but nothing's going to happen if nothing happens. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk a lot about action tonight. We're going to talk a lot about intention tonight. We're going to talk a lot about a plan and on mindset. So without further ado, Let's start with, there's three different things that we um, broke it down that are going to be the most important three things for you to do in order to earn an incentive. So we're going to start with the first one, if you want to take that away. Yeah, a plan with a reason. Yeah, plan with so a reason. 
most of you guys don't know me. <laughs> I mean, I feel like 90% of you don't know who I am, but um, I've been with Sensi now for a long time. It's been like, this will be my 10th year, which is crazy. So crazy. So freaking crazy. So crazy. And my intentions with this company and the way that I've worked have changed a lot over the past 10 years. And you guys will see that is as you're in the company more, your life will change and your business change was changes with it. Sorry. It's been a long day. I can't talk anymore, but what I've realized, and that is like, no matter what, it's the truth. If I don't have a goal or what I'm striving towards my business, either it's something in my life or just like a goal and sensi in general, I don't really work. Yeah. Like I literally don't really work. Like I don't, and, and that's not just in Sensi, but that's in life too. Cause I'm a very goal driven person. Mm -hmm. And for me, like if I don't have anything that I'm working towards, I'm over here. Just like, I don't do intentional things. I'm not intentionally trying to earn the incentive. And over the past five years, I went through, um, a divorce five years ago. And for five years, I've literally just focused on mainly my kids and like making sure they were okay. I hit SSD really quick in two years. And then my business grew and did everything that I did. But for the past five years, I've literally just focused on them. Now I'm at a point in my life where mentally I can put what I need to put into my business, which is what I need to do. But also with that, like, if you don't have something and right now I do have a goal, like I have something I'm like, this is what I need to do in my business. But if I didn't have that, I would have nothing that I would be working towards. Like literally I would just be swimming like this, like you're just floating on top of the surface. If that makes sense. You're just over here, like doggy paddling, well, and there's but you're not lot, getting anywhere. Yeah, you're just like them doing, here, that. doing a couple things here and there, but you're not actually making any kind of intentional thing that's going to grow your business that's going to earn you an, an incentive that's going to make you promote in this company you're not doing anything to get to that next level you're literally just swimming but if you have a goal something and for me right now my younger son he just got into high school and it's crazy but in four years he's going to graduate mm -hmm. and in four years he's going to play d1 football because we all know that he's going to we're manifesting that and my goal is to be at every single game that I can be at. And the reason I want to do that, because he's everything to me and he deserves to have somebody in the stands who's always going to cheer for him and love him and like show up for him. So for me, and right now I'm a full-time nurse. I don't want to have to do that in four years when my son is in college. So for me, that's my goal with Sensi or just in general, like I need my business to grow so I can do what I have to do in my life so I can be there for my kid. That's a goal and something that's going to drive me to get out of bed every single day and do the shit I don't want to do. You have to have something that's going to force you to move, to move the notch in the other direction. That's not just going to make you swim like this, but that's actually going to move you to like work yeah. and do these things. Yeah. So, yeah. And I just, I, I totally agree because. And that's why when we talked about this, the plan with a reason, yeah. we had, me and her have been talking about this over the past week, like where she's at in her business. And I think it's important for all of y'all to look to what, like where your business is at and yes. understand too, that like, um, it's, it's, um, it's okay if you've not been working your business, but you have to look at, okay, especially if you're a leader, I want to speak to leaders yeah. specifically. If you're a leader, there is an accountability and a stewardship that you should be modeling. You don't have yeah. to, but guess what? It's ethical. Yeah. And I used to be a nurse and with her being a nurse, ethics are everything when you're a nurse, by the way, same with teachers, right? So like ethically, like you should be the hardest working leader in the room. So you cannot just show up for yourself, but so you can lead the way for your team. And I think yeah. that when we lose sight of our goal, yeah. and because I was kind of in that gap too, um, over the past four years, yeah. but because we had actually stopped being friends and I'm not mm -hmm. going to go into all that because this will be on YouTube. <laughs> um, but what I will say is when we get into accountability and finding somebody to do this business yeah. like that is really critical it's huge. because when I lost that accountability, which we're going to get into that tonight with you guys, um, I kind of was like, okay, well, what do I even do next? Exactly. Or like what? So having someone that can hold you accountable 
which there's so many of you guys I do that with on Fridays. I've recently started that where y'all will text me what you did throughout the week. Like that really matters. And yeah. so there is this productivity increase um, and act more actions are done when you can loop in to find somebody, whether it's in person or virtually, you can voice text me. Y'all know that y'all can voice text Kristen. Um, but you've got to have a person for the plan. And who I knows like your goal, really who helpful. knows what you want. And yeah. who's going to be there when like, you know, you're having a crappy week and you just, you know, guys, life is hard. Like things fall apart. We have bumps in the road. And sometimes that goal can get a little bit dim for a second. Cause you're just like, how am I going to do this? Like yeah. life is tough, but that's when your accountability partner comes in. And that's when you come in and realize like, I got to get myself together. Like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. So. Because, and it's not that, you know, we're kind of getting off topic, but I think this is important. It's not that what all of you are going through is not valid. No. That's not what we're saying at all. And I think there's this misconception of no. like, get up and hustle, but I don't care about your feelings. Like I genuinely care about everything you guys are going through. And I know a lot of stuff you guys are going through. Um, but at the end of the day, like my job and your job as a leader, if you're a leader on here right now is to help uncover solutions for your team. And you cannot do that for them if you're not doing it for you. That's why this yeah. call is all about you guys. So plan with a reason we're going to go into next. I'm going to actually make Oh, do you have anything else you want to say? Focus on the plan. No, nope. I think we covered it all. I think we did too. So I'm going to make you Lee. Where are you at? There I you are. Her. I'm going to add you here and I'm going to unmute you. So I'm going to have Lee really quick share uh, before we go into like the six month plan, which a lot of you guys have seen the six month plan, but are you unmuted Lee? There you go. I asked, she be? Oh, there she be. Can you hear me? Oh, kind of. <laughs> Hang on. Talk again. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> okay. So what I would love for you to share, Lee, and I know we talked about this yesterday. So those of y'all that don't know, Lee is my mom. Um, for those of you that go, oh my God, she looks so young. She's, she, she's beautiful. She's my stepmom, she's beautiful. but she raised me. Look so I, I've always got to throw it in there because people are like, I don't get it. And I'm like, that's why. Mm -hmm. um, but we were building her plan yesterday. And she, it's so funny because I feel like a lot of us are this way, but we like to go straight to the goals, right? Mm -hmm. We like to go straight to like, how many recruits are you going to have every month? And how many, um, how much sales are you going to have? But actually had Lee back up a little bit and we started talking about her barriers in um in the business. And so I would love Lee for you to share a couple of your barriers that you had, including mindset and then how we worked through the mindset piece so you could get like a vision for what you wanted to do. Sarah, I had done all the homework that Chloe had told me to do. So yeah, I came with like a rough draft of my goals and I had written out all these barriers and guys, I had like a whole sheet, like a whole page full of barriers just because I wanted to be so honest because I knew that that was what was going to be helpful. Like I didn't want to, we always want to impress Chloe, right? We want Chloe to love our ideas and to, to feel good about what we're doing. But I wanted to be honest that a way I could actually get help with where I felt like I was maybe stuck and what I was thinking about. So yeah, I had a, I had a whole list full of barriers and she helped me figure out that it's not that it was so many barriers, but there was a common theme, which came down to mindset. But yes, I'll share a couple. I felt like consistency for me, um, my time management, you know, the fact that I hesitate, I, I talk myself out of things and I hesitate, um, you know, just trying to motivate my team, like worried about like my training, like the way I navigate through training and then just other things that I felt stuck in. But um, she was able to connect the dots that a lot of it was just mindset and that I was in my own head and I was putting myself in the corner. We laughed about that a lot yesterday. I put myself right in the corner and um, I talk myself out of things. So I don't make it awkward when I talk to people, but like, I feel awkward. Like if I get the no, we always say we're going to get the no's and you're going to really try for those yeses. And those yeses are so sweet and magical, but I don't want the no's at all. So it, it makes me feel awkward. And then I hesitate. So the next time I go to talk to somebody, I hesitate 
or I worry about, oh no, do they feel awkward now that I've had this whole conversation with them? Now I'm going to go back and talk to them again. Are they thinking that I'm just going to keep asking? I, I just, anyway, I'm way too in my head. So um, Chloe helped ground me as far as, okay, so back to what you guys were talking about a minute ago, like what is your overall goal? What is the whole aim? What's going to bring you purpose? And then keep that at the forefront because that's going to make you just go ahead and just push through. Like do not hesitate. Go ahead and put yourself out there. Just go ahead and do it. So yeah, a lot of it is my own inner struggle. Um, and I think for me, like I, okay, so I'm not, you know, I, I felt like, and I've told you guys this before in trainings. I don't feel like I'm a salesperson naturally. Like, so I'm a nurse too. So I always go into like, okay, what's wrong? How can I help you? What can I do? How can we get out of this? But I, with this, I feel, and this is my own self, I feel like I'm asking them for something instead of looking at it with the right mindset of, I am offering you something. Like, so I'm offering you either wonderful rewards if you're gonna host a party or like a great chance at a different lifestyle if you join. So yeah, I just had to, get myself out of the corner, <laughs> right? Like carry those watermelons, go dance with Patrick Swayze, just do the thing and get myself out of the corner. But yeah, Chloe, that was really helpful yesterday. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, so cute. And so the reason I wanted you to share that is because, you know, we just did the build series too, where we talked a lot about mindset and what you realized was too, just like Kristen said, you had to make a very specific goal, remember? So we made that very specific goal for you that you wanted to attain, which y'all need to just keep hearing that we're talking yes. about that because it is it is very important. And so once you had that goal of like, okay, by this date, I'm this is, this is what I want to have. This is what I want to pay for or do or whatever. Then we jumped over to, okay, now we can make a plan. Yeah. And I think it's, I, I even think like how we have number one, how it says a plan with a reason, it should be a reason than the plan. Um, it should yeah. be rewritten because you have to have, and you know, like you and Krista know, like my reason, like it's financial freedom. It's to build the businesses yeah. we've been able to build. Like, I think that all of us are really, and there's other things that mean you talked about last night that you want to do with your life. And here's the deal. Like Cincy is an absolute vessel, right yeah. Lee? And yeah. um. What I would love for you to end on for the people that may have started strong and that are kind of struggling right now, can you share to um, how you felt the first seven months like doing so well and then how it kind of put you in that hole when you thought it should just keep being that way? Does that make sense? Remember we talked about that? Yeah. So I joined last April and like, so I came in, I had some great big parties and things were just going great. Everybody was excited. I was starting to get recruits and then we went into harvest collection and the fall, the new catalog. Then we went to the holiday collection. I was having my best months ever and it just kept growing and growing. I was getting promotions and then January came and it kind of dried up a little bit. So I felt like, and maybe that's too where some of this corner living happened because I felt like, gosh, like I'm having to work harder. I'm having to ask more. And it was just really getting me out of my comfort zone. And I was discouraged because I wasn't seeing those PRV numbers go where they used to go. You know, I wasn't getting the little, the charms in the mail, you know, for hitting my 2000 a month and yeah, it was, it just really bothered me. So I think instead of like, for me, unfortunately, instead of being like even more motivated, like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to hit the ground running with this. I, I let that also get to me and just let it make me feel like, wow, was it a one hit wonder? Like what's wrong? How do I get out of this? And yeah, yeah. And that's easy to do, especially like, I don't know if there's any leaders on here, but like when you're not paid at title, I mean, I wasn't paid at title last month. What was last month? May? May. Yeah, May. Yeah. And I was like, and it's been a long time since I have not been paid as an SSD. But let me tell you guys right now, number one, it's okay if you're not paid a title for a second. I don't yep. think people talk about that enough. Like yep. life happens, things happen, companies take dips, things happen. Well, you like, control how people you work. You cannot. But what you need to realize is that like, you don't need to let that get to you and you be like, I'm not going to do anything because I'm not paid a title. Like that's when you're like, where do I need to dig my heels in? Like, what should yeah. I be doing right now? So, yeah. Thank you, Lee. Your skin is just like glowing. I know it is. Oh, it's probably the light. All right. <laughs> thank you. I love okay. you. Bye. Love you. On the plan.
So um, that was great because I wanted y'all to hear from her because we just talked about that and her mindset with that like reasoning of like, okay, well, what, what's her goal right now? Like, yeah. what does she want to do? What's coming up? Like, what does she want money for? Because yeah. at the end of the day, here's the deal. Okay. You can say like, find your sensey person and like have fun. And there are pe a lot of people do join for the community, but people sure. stay because of the money. Yeah. And I will say that. I don't care. Yeah. No. If uh -uh. it if it makes people yeah. that's that's just yeah. what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially if it wasn't for the money, I would be literally on a street right, right now with my children with no food. If it wasn't for the money when yeah. my divorce happened, I would have nothing. So trust me. Yeah. And you don't want to blow that, you don't want to no. blow that away. And so no, you don't. It it is a thing. And and it's hard to get back in it. Okay. Yeah. So that's why a lot of you guys, maybe you're re-listening, you're on now, like, you know, that feeling of when you get out and when you stay out so long and you're not connected with your yes. team and you're like doing nothing with them because you feel like they don't want to listen or you're not recruiting because you just keep trying to find flyers and you're, so you're not doing any action. And then it just, it just puts you in this hole and then you have to catch up so much more. And so the hope in this six month plan that I'm going to show you guys that I have shown y'all, there we go. I get so confused before this is a plan that Beth made. It's awesome. Um, y'all have seen this, but this is the six month plan that we're talking about. I made this with Lee. I'm actually going to make I one. I need to make one this week. So maybe yeah, we can make too. one together. I need to make mine. Yeah. But what you're going to do is you're going to write your plans out. So that would be June, July, August, September. And what you were going to base your plan on is the three legs of success. Mm -hmm. So you're going to look at the three legs of success which are right here. I'll pull this up. Oh gosh, that's very small. Love the three legs. I don't know why that looks like that. Hang on. I'm going to pull it up in a minute. Sometimes things get lost in here and it's so hard to find. Okay. Um, they do, they get completely lost. But um, the three legs of success is what you guys, oh, I'm so proud of you for moving so fast. I'm trying. I'm She's trying, y'all. She's on it. She's I'm trying like man. a bunny. I don't know how she clicks so fast. I've just, you just, you just kind of figure not good. Okay. So y'all can see here. here. So the three legs of success is what I want you guys looking at while you're building your plan. Okay. Yes. Now I did a whole build series last month with y'all on um, how to, how to make a plan and how to get in the driver's seat and how to do all of these things. So if you haven't watched that, I encourage you to watch it. But when you are making your goals for every month, I want y'all focusing on these three things, including coaching, okay? That means we talked about this and we're about to talk about this going into focus on the plan. We'll just start with that for yeah. our second point, which is focusing on the plan. So the first way you're going to earn an incentive is having a reason, then making a plan. Yeah. The second way you're going to earn an incentive is focusing on the plan. Okay. So we're going to talk about ways to do that. One of the top things that I see consistently, so this is the three legs, y'all have seen it. It's on all the trainings. It's on all the things. Okay. One of the main things that I see, and I know for a fact, you see this is people not leading their teams. Oh yeah. I don't know. And I think this needs to be addressed. I don't know why you guys are holding yourselves back because they joined under you and not me and not her for a reason. And I'll never forget when I had my first recruit, it was literally a family member. I, I was, mine, yeah. I was doing free conference calls. I yeah. know she was too. Yeah. And in person team meetings all the time, that connection, yeah. it doesn't matter how many tactics you can get to sell. This is going to break y'all's heart, but this is not how you earn incentives. You can have all these tactics to sell you can have the best freaking recruiting plan I've ever heard in my life. You can have all these things, but if you're not building that community and that culture of like follow the leader with the first person, you're never going to build anything. No, you will no. sell well. And that's great. There are a lot of certified consultants that are wonderful, but we're talking about earning an incentive trip right now, by the way, you will not earn an incentive trip by just selling. And y'all know that. No. That is why you got to leave. That is why she was 200 away Yes, because there's this system that goes in yes. and I'll never forget in 2021, I actually stopped doing coaching calls because 
I mean, me and her had done them for like seven years. Yeah. When we stopped talking, I was like, I'm not doing any calls. So I stopped doing coaching calls like the end of 2020. And I missed like two years of people. Yeah. And when I tell y'all, some of y'all are directors today that promoted during that time. I kick myself every day. Yes, I need to take care of myself. But I there were also things that are like, sometimes you just need to get the hell up and lead. Because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is, is you're going to miss people. Yeah. And it honestly makes you better as a human. It, too. it makes like when you, you feel better because when you're not doing okay, mentally and in your own place, like you're just like, I have nothing to give to these people. I can't do this right now. But when in all actuality, if you dig into those people and really like try, they probably are going to mentor you as well. Yeah. And you're going to feel good afterwards. Well, so and like we all do you go into this like dark place, but instead we just need to lead. Yeah, because that's what God and that's why we're here. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're a leader, we're a leader for a reason. So you just got to lead. Yeah. And, Get up and, lead. and so I love that we started with this one first, because this is actually the last task on focus on the plan. But all of you are on here because you want to earn an incentive, right? Yeah. And you earn incentives by recruiting. Okay. But what I want you guys to go ahead and just understand and let's like split the, the negative talk in your head. You are a leader, number one. Everybody on earth is a leader, just FYI, in different ways. But when someone joins under you, that gives you this position to lead them. Amen. And that does not need to be passive. You need to, I don't even care. Stick to them like sticky glue. Like I don't need like sticky glue. And it's like, <laughs> just, just figure it out yeah. until you're good. Yeah. The reason a lot of people struggle in leadership is because they get out of rhythm. They get out of habit. Yeah. They sell themselves short and they stop doing the tasks that they know, know are tried and true. We all know coaching calls work. We all know that. We grew our businesses substantially when we started coaching calls. 100%. Coaching calls work, one-on-ones work, getting on the phone with these people to go, hey, what's your six-month plan? Hey, and hopefully this call helps you guys with that. So you know, hey, you get somebody to join that serious, which one in every like four or five are serious, Amen. by the way. Yeah. When you get that person, you, you can know. go, hey, I'm going to help you earn shooting star. Yeah. I'm going to help set you up for success to get certified. I'm going to help you with your launch party, but you're not going to be motivated to say those things unless you have like this deep reason of like, why are you even doing Sensi? Which goes back to the first part. So True. that training your teams, I just wanted to like yeah. drill it in y'all's heads so y'all understand. Yes, it, it can be draining, but it's so fulfilling exactly. when you help other That's people win. Saying, yeah. There's nothing yeah. like in That's God's work. And every time I get off a coaching call, like I feel so, I feel like I made a difference. Yeah. And, and that's what, that's your capability. That's what's in your pocket as a leader is that you are making a difference. So I want y'all to understand this because this is your, this is the difference in where you're stuck at right now and where you could be in six months is how you're leading, how you're showing up for them. How you're being intentional with building relationship with them, doing in-person team meetings, doing Zooms, follow the leaders that y'all see in Cincy that are successfully building community like Kelly Rochelle, Wendy Newgas. Those are two of the best in the business with community. You know why? Because they go and do service days with their team. They do team meetings every month, two, every, twice a month sometimes. Uh, Kelly Rochelle does field trips with her team. That's They're true. building this community that people don't want to leave, you yeah. know? And I feel like- A lot oh, of people need that. Over the past four years, we've lost that understanding. It starts with you. You are the leader. They're following the leaders. So as y'all recruit and as you guys build your teams this fall, do not be passive in how you lead them. Do not rely on success paths on the workstation to lead them. And I'm saying that because you're the leader. You're the experience, not success paths. You are. They're looking at you and y'all need to understand that like, this is how you actually step into leadership because when you start, right, helping these, you know, single moms and these uh, people that are in crappy jobs they don't love, or maybe people love their jobs, but they need an outlet or they're yeah. in a gap in life or a transition, helping, helping them win and be successful and feel good. Like it is, it's going to keep you in Cincy as a leader. A hundred percent. That's one thing that's kept me too. hundred percent. So anyways, training that, your teams, sure. I feel like we nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this needs to start immediately. Monthly team meetings, team connections, one-on-ones. That needs to be like 
immediate. You're sending them samples in the mail and in mold so they can get started. Like you, I want you guys ecstatic when these people join. Oh, somebody joined my team she today. Reinstated. All right, girl, hey, let's go. go. Let's go. I saw that. I was like, wait, what? let's go. <laughs> um, And so a couple other things with the plan. Oh, let me run through these. And then I want you to talk about the full time yeah. job and what you do. I'm gonna so, you do that. so we have two different um, work styles. So Kristen works a full time job. So she's actually going to share in a minute what she does to sell over 2000 PRV a month, recruit every month, do all the things that she needs to do to build her business while working as a nurse. I'm going to share really quick what I do to focus on my plan. So number one, to get my plan going, I make a plan. So that six month plan is a great one. But however, if that doesn't work for you, I just want you to do some kind of six month plan. Okay. Using the three legs of success. So focusing on sales, sponsoring, and leadership, training your teams, helping them win, helping them promote all that stuff. Um, and so Whatever you need to do to get that six-month plan, I was telling Lee this yesterday, I really feel like the six-month plan is going to be what every one of us needs to earn this incentive. And we don't talk a lot about six-month plans. We actually never have until Beth brought it up to me a few weeks ago. And I was like, this is great because then you really are detailed. Like you're really, you're not just manifesting, you're writing it down. You're focused. Like you were like, this is six months. Yeah, baby. I can do this shit. You know, I don't even have the gym planned up for next month, you know? So like having it, having that plan for me is like essential. So that's the first thing I'm personally going to do is I'm going to write my six month plan. The next thing that I do is I time block. So Kristen's going to talk about time management, my time now, because I've just done Cincy the past six years or so, which is crazy, but I focus on not, it's not time blocking. It's more like day blocking. So I've done trainings on that before. Y'all may have heard it, but it's just on different days of the week. I focus on different things. Today's Tuesday, right? So that's why this call is tonight. Tuesday. I do team stuff on Tuesdays and yeah. Thursdays. Um, for you guys, and me and Lee talked about this yesterday. She wanted like a customer day and then some other day and then a team day. I was like, absolutely not. All three days are customer days. If you are building a business all the way up, I would say to director, if you are not a director yet, your team day should be very minimal. Your team day should be one day a week. And that's when you are recruiting, you're building those new recruits. You're not just, by the way, when you're having team days, I want to be very specific about this. If you are not focusing on training new recruits on your team days, I want you to look at what you're doing on your team days because you should have new recruits yeah. to train on your team days. I just want to throw that in there. But with your day blocking, what that's going to help you guys do, you also could do this with a full-time job. Um, mm -hmm. But you can know, okay, it is this day. This is what I focus on on this day. I have 30 minutes. Let me update my dream team list or let me get a call scheduled with my team for next week because it's team day. Those things don't take a lot of time. And so one thing I look at a lot, and y'all know this, whenever I try to help you guys win, is I ask you guys what you're doing. And what I found is a lot of you guys don't know what you're doing because your business isn't telling you what to do. And so by having, and, and I don't, I'm not being ugly, but this is just how I am. Like, I don't understand how people run businesses in Cincy without having a plan. This whole chicken with my head cut off, I hate when people say that in Cincy. Y'all know that's a trigger for me. It's not cute. And your team is not going to take you seriously. So having some sort of plan, starting with the focus plan, what does your next six months look like? That's going to keep you on track because you have written it down, right? Wow. When you write that PRV down, y'all know it's scary. I've been on the phone with a lot of y'all and I'll be like, okay, this month, like, okay, well, what about 2000? It's like, eep, eep, but you got to write it down You because at least if you don't get you it, you to. swung really high. Yes, so exactly. Day blocking though was going to keep you on task. So I know one thing for me, that I'm actually changing with my day blocking. And when y'all do your day blocking, you need to look at the effectiveness of it, by the way. Are you increasing sales? Are you increasing recruits? And are you growing leaders? Those three things, especially for wanting to earn an incentive, you should never just be recruiting for an incentive. You should be setting goals as well for how many certifieds every month yes. you want to build, how many leads, yes. how many stars. You that should all be working with your leads to get to start yes. working with your star. Yes. And yes. that needs to be in yes. your plan. That's how you will earn an incentive. When it's measurable. Yes. You can measure like, it, it. I don't care if you recruited 26 people. Yeah. If only, if 10 of them are certified yeah. and nobody did anything yeah. beyond that, you wasted so much yeah. time with those 26 100%. recruits. 
because you could have built at least one director out of that, some superstars, whatever. So, and we've all been there. We've all done that. Yeah, we've all been there. But if you want to do it, you got to do it the right way. Yeah, and you have to you have to look yeah. at what's not working. And so, exactly. I highly encourage day blocking. I've been talking about that for like a year with y'all. Annual sales and mentor, it's something that every one of us on this call should be aiming toward. <laughs> Have something, when you do your plan, print out a map. There's maps on the team page. There's maps on the workstation um, with sales and mentor, but that way it can be with your six month plan because that's going to help set your sales goal and your recruiting goal, okay? That's why since he does that, I always tell people when I'm mentoring them that mentor and sales was made to build leaders, but yeah. both together, yeah. to go after both together. Yeah. Um, because you keep having high sales and you want to build a business, you're going to tire out so quick. Um, it's, it's exhausting to sell a lot and just sell. Yeah, it really is. And the last thing before you talk, Kristen, is the three legs of success. So I already shared that, but when you're looking at what to focus on, focus on that, like, don't get sidetracked. Right. We talked a lot in the build program about like, Get in the car, focus, look out the front of the window. Don't look out of the rear. Don't look out of the side mirrors. Like look forward because if you're not focused on sales, recruiting and leadership, this is why people are earning yeah. incentives. It's the leadership part of the hundred percent. If you get derailed from those three things and you start trying to make boxes and you start trying to do all these things, Other things. and you decide you want to do a fundraiser <laughs> and you decide you just want to do all these things when you know what you're good at. Stay in your lane, sell, recruit, and train. I like and Jen Hernandez. She Jen. keeps laughing. She's, she's great. I'll her. introduce you to her. Desk. I almost did a bad word earlier and I saw her laughing. She's, she's and I'm great. Like, she's she made, home, she <laughs> made homemade moonshine and brought it to us. Let's do it. She's great. <laughs> it's great. So um, now so that's how I work because I work full-time Cincy. Yeah. I work Monday through Friday. Fridays though, I'm pretty much doing yeah. cleanup. So I do Monday through Thursday. Um, but Kristen, I would love for you to share, cause I'm sure, and y'all go in the comments who has a full-time job comment. So Kristen can see <laughs> she's going to share and she does crazy stuff. Like she will drop off bag parties. Oh yeah. Orders, all the things. Care. So just share a little bit about what your oh, schedule is. Me what too. Are you? So, I've been yeah. a full-time nurse for 11 years now. Yep. Um, I'm a float nurse, so I travel all over the hospital. They will send me an email tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I don't know where I'll go, but I'll, look at this girl. I'll just go somewhere all over the hospital. I don't know where I'm going to go. So that's my job, pretty much. Um, when I am at work for those 13 hours, I cannot do Sensi. There is no way. My job is not like that. Like somebody would probably die if I decided to try to text somebody back, you know? So my days off, I, number one, I take care of me. And I think it's taken me a long time to really focus on that, especially in this business. And just as a mom, I have two boys. I raised them by myself. I have for five years now. They're teenagers now. Thank God. <laughs> but I've been raising them on my own for five years. Um, and what I learned along the way with this business, with life, with everything else is that if I'm not taking taking care of me first, I can't even do sense of y'all. Mm -hmm. Like I can't even do it the right way. I can't do it efficiently. I can't do it effectively. We worked out before this call. I, yes, I can't lead effectively. So number one on my days off, I work out. I make sure I move my body. I talk to God. You know, I hang out with my mom. I do the things that I'm supposed to do. But then here's the thing. Sensi number one, it can go with you where you go. And mm -hmm. I think that that is what is so beautiful about it. And also what is so consumable about it. And like what people really want to see is that if you're a full-time person, like you can still make a lot of money, do successful things in this company. Like you can take it where you go. So for me, how I worked effectively during the day, number one, I time block, just like what Chloe said, if I'm going to do like you know, customer mail outs for an hour, then I do customer mail outs for an hour. When I have time off, I do things that are going to make me money. I don't do fluff. Yeah. I can't, I don't have time to do fluff. I am a single mom. I work a full-time job. I don't have time for fluff. So if I'm going to focus on things, it's going to be number one, my mail outs, because the more money I spend in mail outs for my customers and the better I take care of my customers, the more money, the more PRV I'm going to make, no matter what. That's yeah. just like, without fail, it's going to happen. Number two, I booked parties. I built my business on tote parties. Me and Chloe both did. 
tote parties are huge for me because I am a busy single mom. I can drop them off on the way to work. I can drop them off on the way home from work. I can pick them up. Like I can do whatever with them. And I work in a hospital. Why would I not want to drop off a tote party in a hospital? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like might as well. The other thing I'm really cautious about is I don't do calls like this much. Just like what Chloe said earlier to me, she's like, I do this once in a while. But the thing is you really have to focus on what is going to be the best for your time. You guys need to see that we lead and we do all of these things, but you also need to see that we know how to take care of ourselves because we don't want to be the kind of leaders that show you guys that you have to do all of this stuff to be successful because you don't. The focus of Sensi is to do a little bit so you can have so much more of your life. Mm -hmm. And it's not about doing all of these things so you have a little bit of life. It's the opposite. Yeah. But you have to focus your time on just like she said, the three legs of success. I, there's so many times where I'll get on the call. I'll get on a com, like a coaching call on the way to work, on the way home from work, because I know that's an easy, like 30 minutes home. You know what I'm saying? That way, when I get to my house, I'm at my house. I'm there as a mom. I'm there for my kids. And I know Chloe, you know, she's so good about that. When she's home, she's disconnected. She's not on her phone. And guys, please know and make sure that your family realizes that like, Yes, this is what brings the bacon in. This is how we pay our rent. This is how we pay our mortgage. But also this is a blessing. And this is why I get to be here, not on my phone with you guys, you know? So there are things that you can do even with a full-time job that are going to make you money. But number one, you got to have a goal. And you also, like Chloe said, and like we've been talking about, you have to make a plan. Because on those days where you have those 30 minutes, you're going to look at that plan. You're going to say, what can I do to get to this? Yeah. What do I have to do? What five things, 10 things do I need to do really quickly now? Cause it doesn't take a long time. And then you do those things and you feel good when you go to bed at night and you lay your head on your pillow. Cause you know, you actually did the things. Yeah. And they don't have to be a lot. It can be quick, but you have to do the things. Yeah. And impactful. Like, so yeah. Right. Like if most of the time, if I'm looking at, okay, like, what do I need to do? It's always what customer expansion. Like yeah. we're not done here. We all know this, right? So the best way to customer expand is to book parties. Yeah. So I would even say too, like if you have a full-time job, cause I built my entire business as a nurse. Yeah. Um, I built all the way up as a nurse and yeah. I would book parties a lot. Yeah. Like, because I knew that they were going to get me five more people yeah. or six more people, yeah. or it was going to get the product out there. It was going to get the, it's, it's literally like Justin always talks about this with me, like always be branded and branding is not a Scentsy shirt. I want to be really clear. The branding is the product and yeah. we're missing that. And so you guys are going to all these businesses you go to all the time, you know, all these realtors, you know, all these different people that you could get product to, but we're not doing that. And so that's the main thing I would say too, like after you make your plan and you're ready to go, you need to look at how many parties you have because yes. parties equal customer expansion, customer expansion equals people that can join your team Amen. and rinse and repeat. And that's, yes. that's what it is, is getting the product in their hands. And so there's this weird, I can't train on this gap because when a lot of these people joined in 2020, they are like scared to death to do parties. I don't know what happened, right? I'm sure there's people on your team. Oh, too. yeah. No, they, yeah, they, yeah. It's like, we don't want to do home parties. Yeah. We don't want to do bag parties. We don't want to talk to people or meet people. This is a people business and a sensory business. One of the five senses. You, you know what I mean? Get it out there. They have to smell it. They've got to smell they it. They got to smell it. And so I would even say when you're making your plan, if you are at rock bottom right now, you need to start by booking parties yeah. and you need to start and you we need did to that. remember that party. one year we were struggling recruiting one year, both of us. Yeah. So what we did, we challenged each other and we said, we are going to book a home party every single month this year. And we did that. Yeah, we did, we did that that year and we grew like crazy. And that was on top of the back parties because yeah. at the home party, you get to talk to everybody. So many people. And I would even challenge every one of you. If you've not done your, do your own home party. Yeah. Stop saying you don't know anybody. Them people in your house. Do your own. Me and Lee talked about this yesterday. We even, did like she's going to do a themed one in yeah. October because she loves Halloween and I was like theme it have everybody dress up in costume so be creative 
um, with how you want to do your home party too, but do your own home party. I really want to encourage that because it's going to be really hard for you guys to train people that join your team to do a home launch party when you've never done one. And I think that's a really big, scary barrier for a lot of people. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I'm not a people person. You have to be with Sensi. Yeah. You've got to talk to people. There's no way around this. Okay. This whole, I don't like people. I hate people. You're in the wrong business then. If you genuinely hate people, you should not be a Sensi consultant. Because, because I mean, literally, like, look at your profession. You're a nurse. Yeah. You love people. You're a servant. That's people. why you're so good at Sensi. Yeah. That's why teachers are so good at Sensi. And so you, you guys must think when you're making your plan and you're in this mindset rut, I want to know how many parties do you have booked? How many people have you talked to about smelling the scents, about dropping a toad off, getting the scents in their hand? And same goes with Dream Team. Like we're going to redo our Dream Team uh, sheet this week as well. Your Dream Team sheet too, I would just add to the focus on the plan, have a Dream Team sheet and fill it out regularly. Update it weekly. Yeah. Um, Because even like I was telling you, like I literally recruited somebody three days ago who was on my dream team list. And I was talking to Lee about this and she's me and Lee's family member. And I was like, dude, she joined and Lee was like, man, I, sh I meant to tell her I was going to, I was going to be, we used to do that back in the day to each other. You'd be like, I'm going to get her. If you don't, and I'm like, yeah, well, I'm going to go get her. But Watch this is me. the kicker. And I hope you don't care if I say this, but I'm going to say this. So yeah. then I said, okay, Kristen, I recruited somebody off that list. Cause then I went to Hawaii. So we didn't get to follow up. And I was like, I recruited somebody off that list we made. I said, have you? And she said, no. And yeah. I said, you haven't followed up with them yeah. yet, have you? And she said, no. No. So there has to be, yeah, you I'm writing up. it down. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sending them a little something. If you're, if you want to send them an info and mail with joining or whatever, then you follow up. Cause she will recruit somebody off that list oh, when yeah. we sit down. Oh yeah, I will. And hundred percent. I just got to open my mouth. I got to right. open my mouth. All you do is open your mouth. So open the, the mouth. six month plan. Yeah. Annual mentor and annual sales. Mm -hmm. Go after that. Look at when you're making your six month plan, how many parties you have booked. And right? it should be very specific. In your six month plan, you just have how much PRV you want, how many recruits you want, how many active frontline, how many parties you need to book to get to that PRV. Yep. How many club members maybe you need to try to get this month to get to that PRV. Yep. Like if you break it down into little specific sections, it's not that scary. Yeah. And that's why day blocking is so good yes. because then you can just kind of focus yes. on not all the things yeah. like you were saying earlier. Yeah. I think that creates a lot of chaos yes. when people are like, well, I need to get, that's why y'all know this. I don't check Facebook messenger. <laughs> I don't, you know why? Because like, that's too much for me. I can't check Instagram, my email, my team page, my leadership page and Facebook messenger. <laughs> so also we're going to get into this with discipline now. We'll just move on to discipline, I guess, because yeah. I yeah. feel like we kill, we yeah. did everything yeah, we need we to do with folks on the plan. The third way you're going to earn an incentive is by being disciplined. Woo! This is the key. It's tough. So it's a lot tough. of people say there's not a secret to success. This is the secret. Yeah. Discipline is the secret. Yeah. Because discipline means it, your feelings don't matter. Yeah. Her sponsor, Jen Anderson is great on this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Jen Anderson's her sponsor. She has the queen of discipline. Yeah. We went to college together. We grew up together. Like she does. She takes emotions out of everything. Yeah, she does. She's not reactional. She does the things that she needs to do so she can earn the top trips. Right. And I say all that because when it comes to being disciplined, it has nothing to do with how you feel. And too many people are working when they just feel good and, and you're missing it. If you're only working Cincy when you feel good, you're not looking at your child in the eyes and seeing that you want a better life for them. You're not looking at what Cincy can do for you. You're not looking at the possibility. You don't have this rooted reason of why you're doing anything. That's why you're not disciplined. That's the gap. And with that reason, you also have to think, okay, if you have the mindset of, well, I want to do this, but I'm not. Well, I want to do this, but I'm not. This like crazy circle people get in, right? Of this like, I want to do it, but I'm not. We're overcomplicating it. When it really is, you want to earn an incentive trip, sell, recruit, and lead. Those three things. And you go out and get the training you want to get from whoever in the hell you want, Cincy. I don't care who you go to. She doesn't care Whatever you go to. it takes. You go out and you find 
what nuggets you're going to get from if honestly when we were trying to promote we listen to all the trainings we could find so many youtube and nobody had, was nobody cooking. nobody had to tell us that no because i wanted to retire and she knew that i was trying yeah. to get out of there she wanted to open a clothing business yeah. and so there was this reason right and so discipline is going to be y'all's key in not just writing a six month plan, but you actually going, okay, how am I going to work this every month? How am I going to hold myself Deal accountable? With resistance. Yeah. Which I want you to talk about that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. What do you want to share with, about discipline and how, why you think let's talk about the gym for a second. Yeah. Let's talk about so, it. So I've been an athlete my entire life, like literally my whole life. And I've had a lot of setbacks. So I'm 41 now. And I've had a lot of setbacks. I hurt my shoulder. I uh, <laughs> tore my freaking ACL almost on a, what's a mechanical bull, just lots of things. And I did not see this. No, but it was bad. <laughs> I wish I did. Anywho, but someone said Hazel. Oh, see. <laughs> and because of that, like, you know, I had to figure out how I was going to get back in the gym, how I was going to deal with that resistance. Because here's the thing, when you're getting back in shape, if any of you guys have ever tried to do that in your life, it is exhausting. It makes you feel like you're going to throw up. It's terrible, but you, you just have to show up. And after you're done, you feel so much better. And it's the same thing in this business. Like you are going to meet so much resistance. You're going to be like, you're going to get somebody who's going to say no, you're going to have a recruit who you think is going to be gone and then bomb. And then all of a sudden she ain't answering you back. She's not texting you back. You think that she might be in the witness protection protection program. Like you have no idea what's going on, but here's the thing. Like you're going to meet resistance along the way a when lot. you're trying to meet that goal, but you have to find a goal. That's going to be like, you know what? I don't care about the resistance. I'm going to keep running. Yeah. Like I'm going to put this treadmill up and I'm going to keep fighting because I want to make myself better. I want to make my business better. I want to make my life better for X, Y, and Z, for my family, for my friends, for whatever reason, like you're going to put the tremble up and you're going to keep running like one foot in front of the other, nothing is going to matter. And you're just going to keep going. Like you're going to meet resistance in life, in your business, in every way, shape and form, but you have to figure out how you're going to meet that res resistance and be like, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep fighting. And if you don't have a goal, you're not going to even care about resistance. You won't even get there. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. won't. That's why you got to go you back to it. Won't. You got to go back to it. Every single time. And, and, and that's the thing too. Like, even with the gym, like I'm not a runner at all. <laughs> I never was a runner, but she's um, running, but I'm watching her challenges yes. like going to a gym where other people are running yeah and this is what I want to tie it into like yeah. when you see others doing it it makes you want to do it yeah and y'all need to know that we are doing this with you guys we are not sitting back I don't know what misconception I feel like y'all get it and since we get it but in other MLMs a lot of leaders sit back they don't do anything and they collect money um a lot of MLMs are like that that's that's what it is that is not what us and many other leaders are doing. We are running with you guys. We are struggling to figure out sometimes what's going to work now and what's going to work then. But here's the deal. Yes, the world's evolving, but since he's always going to be a relational people business, 100%. it's always going to be a business 100%. where they need to smell the product. I don't give a flip how good Gen Zers are at online. They will never build a team by selling online. Yeah. Not a good one. They won't promote. They won't build leaders. So here's, here's the thing is like, we're doing it with you. That's why I wanted to tie it into the gym and why I love the atmosphere, because I see like today I was like, oh my gosh, you're going to keep running. I was like, I'm going to do it too. Then it, you go, I go, you go, I go. So with you guys, like I'm literally going with you guys, I'm doing this, like I am, I'm doing it because here's the thing. If I don't do it, well, y'all, no. and then if you don't do it, well, your team. Yeah. And so it needs to be this mindset of. Okay, that you're going to break down and figure out, like Lee said, this is a great way to start ending the call. I want you guys to break down what your barriers are in the business. Okay. And if I'm your leader, 
Y'all can send this to me and text it to me on Friday. I love getting leadership stuff on Fridays. If you're in Kristen's downline, you can text it to her. She'll probably get back to you Friday. She works the next two days. Yeah. But I want you to write down your barriers right now in your business. And then I want you to start writing solutions down. If you don't have good solutions, we will help you with that. Yeah. Amen. But that's that needs to start first. I want no six month plan filled out until you start with what your barriers are in the business right now. And then after that, you can make your six month plan. It needs to stretch you. You need to stretch your sales. You need to stretch your sponsoring. It doesn't need to be this sliding scale. Like yesterday, Lee had two to three a month. And I was like, no, nah, three. <laughs> We're not a lot of people do that. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all be that. like one to two recruits. Y'all, they know. Anchor Sets knows your team's doing it too, girl. Uh-huh. Because here's the deal. If you aim high, you still have a chance of winning halfway. Amen. Okay. For sure. So when you're setting your sales goal, when yeah, you're work like a star, when exactly work like a star, yes. work like a star consultant, 20, Should literally that. this will like grow your business every single month. If you work like a star consultant, yep. this is what I always used to tell my people. It works without fail. 2,500 TWV. So 2,500 in total. Two active frontline every single month. And you're going to have two active frontline if you are actively recruiting people who are working and at least 500 PRV for yourself. You have to work like a star consultant. I obviously aim for 2000 every single month because I want that bonus. I need that bonus. I got kids going to college. Let's be honest. Yep. But high PRV, high recruiting and a goal. Yeah. Like that's literally it right there. Yep. And that's going to make you need to sponsor and yeah. build your team because yeah. you're going after no that TWV. What. I mean, that yes. will build a really good business. And yes. also somebody asked, does struggling to recruit and ask count as barrier? Yes, that is a big barrier. That's a big barrier. What? Yes. St struggling to recruit and ask. Like the barrier is yeah. like she's not asking people yeah. and she's struggling to recruit. Yeah. So yes, many solutions can be made out of that and that could change your whole business. So um, I think that we are done with everything um so just to recap you need to get your reason yeah then make your plan you need to focus on the plan and you need to be disciplined i literally was telling i saw courtney on here earlier i don't know if she still is one of our leaders i was texting her the other day and she sends me updates every friday on how she's working and she texted me i think it was monday maybe yeah yesterday was it yesterday i don't know but she was like, I'm kind of down about this, this, and this. And I was like, listen, I was like, you just started all these things. You've got to give it time to 100%. you guys. 100%. I need for y'all to give 100%. it 90 days. Yes. Okay. Yes. If and you, then you'll see it. And, and you're then, like, oh my God. And then by August, it's crazy. You, by the end of August. Yes. I'm telling you it works. It's crazy. Your business is yes. going to be on fire. Because, Especially if you start leading and yep. doing coaching calls and stuff like that. Because those people, they light a fire under you. Yep. And if you're like, kind of like in, in your business right now, like I'm telling you, get on the phone. Courtney. You have to surround yourself yeah. with fancy people who are wanting to do the same thing. If not, you will fail. Yeah. You need people. She's, I'm talking about another Courtney, y'all, but y'all know I love Courtney Reyes. Y'all know I love Courtney Reyes, but, All right. um, so yeah, so those are the three things I don't want to like, I don't feel like we need to say anything else. Is there any questions y'all have for us before we get off of here? Any questions? I'll make sure in the video, um, that I have the Canva for Beth's plan. And the three legs of success. Um, but we want you guys to make your plan this week. Make your plan. Please do. Send it I'm to I'm going to make mine too. Yep. We're going to make ours on Friday. Yep. Um, and we're also updating our dream team list. So I would also say if you want to push it a little more, update your dream team list as well. That, yeah. That's actually going to be key. Yeah. And really go back because you don't realize when you update your dream team list, how many people you've really encountered over the last like six months. Like there's so many people that you don't even think of like, Oh, I talked to this girl at this store and I got her number. Or I talked to this girl at work. Like there's so many people that we don't talk to. Yeah. And definitely Nikki, you can definitely share your plan on our leadership page. I would love, I would, I would love I would we love would, that. We would, we would love that. Yeah. And, you know, just know that um, this is hard. Yeah. This is, you're, you're never, you're, but why would you not want it to be hard? 
You know, when I think about things that are hard that I've went through, it's like, those are the things that build you. They, change. they build your character. They, change you. they build your mindset, right? They build belief in you. And I can promise y'all right now, if y'all take this seriously, what y'all are hearing from us tonight, your business will look totally different in December. Nothing easy is worth it. You will look back though, and you're going to go, oh my gosh, I am so proud that I did that. And I'm just proud of you in general, Chloe. And that, I'm trying. My team knows. Y'all know that they know. That I know. We're all just <laughs> proud. Just, I'm just proud. And so, you know, we love you guys. We want you guys to, this is just what we're going to be doing. Y'all yeah. can take it or leave it. But like, we're starting now. We're not waiting no. to hear the next incentive. I, I'm not going to miss another incentive. No, you're not. I'm saying that on this call so all of you guys can hear me. I'm not missing one by 200 points. No. Like, I can't ever do that again. It is no. terrible. You have FOMO. It's a whole situation. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever done it, but, like, if you have not traveled with Sensi. They treat you like royalty. Yeah. It is the best experience you will ever have in your life. You want to earn every and I miss it I haven't traveled with them in like a minute and it's time and then we can all be next year let's go we got a whole six months so yeah we're gonna stop the recording okay. and let me see